Hello everyone. I thought I'd bring my little friend here, my dog. You know, he's called Woody. But you know, he's not always a very good dog. Sometimes he doesn't do the things that we ask him to do. Would you like to see some of the things that he doesn't do? Have a look at this. Woody, are you on the settee? Off, Woody. Come off. Come on, Woody. Off. Down. Come on, Woody. Walkies. Walkies. Come on. Come on, Woody. Woody, fetch. Fetch. Bring. Bring. Come on then. Bring it back. Bring it back, Woody. Sit. Sit. Woody. Sit. Sit. Good boy. Good boy. Took you a little while there, didn't it? He really isn't a very good dog, is he? He doesn't hear what we say and do as he's told. And that's a bit of a problem sometimes, especially if he goes out of the front door or something and then won't come back. And we wouldn't like him to get caught in one of the neighbor's gardens or by a car or anything. But when he does, it's amazing. And you know, even when he doesn't do what he's told, we still love him ever so much. And that reminds me of a story that we can find in our Bible. And the story is about, and this is the Bible, our story is about a man called Jonah. Now I'm going to make this Jonah today for our story. And he was a man who heard and listened to God. But there was one message that God gave him one day. And Jonah was a bit like our dog Woody and he just went, no, not going to do it. You see, God wanted Jonah to go to a place called Nineveh. Now Nineveh, here he is in our Bible, look. Nineveh was pointing in that direction. But Jonah didn't want to go. He didn't want to do what God had asked him to do. So he went down to the port to a different direction and he got on a boat. But the boat wasn't sailing to Nineveh. It was going the other way. And he got on the boat and he went to sleep. Now that night, the storm came and the boat was being pushed to and fro and to and fro. And all the other people on the boat were really scared and they started to throw things off the boat to make it a little bit lighter. But you know, Jonah knew that it was God that had sent the storm because Jonah was trying to run away from God and not do what God had asked him to do. So he said to the captain of the ship, it's my fault. You're going to just have to throw me into the water and I know that you will all be safe. And so that's what they did. They threw him into the water and he was splashing around in the water. But that isn't how it was left because God had a plan and God's plan was that he would send a big fish. And as Jonah was floating in the water, trying to swim, do you know, that big fish just gobbled Jonah up. And Jonah stayed in the fish for three days and three nights. And while he was inside the fish, he had time to think. Time to think about the things that he'd done wrong. He knew that he should have gone to Nineveh and not the other way. And he knew that he had to do what God had asked him to do. And God was really gracious. He took the fish right near to where Jonah needed to go. And he spat Jonah out. And Jonah was able to go to the town and tell all the people about him. Here's our big fish. Look, swallowing Jonah up. And here he is inside the fish and then being spat out. And Jonah went and did the job that God asked him to. He went and told the people. And the job that he had to do was to tell the people that they were not obeying God and not doing the right things. And do you know the people heard God? They heard Jonah's words from God and they said they were very sorry. And they turned around and did the right thing. And just like our little dog, Woody, when he does the right thing, we just are really happy that he's done what we've asked him to. And I'm sure God was really happy with Jonah when he did what he'd asked him to. God still loved Jonah, even when he was running away and doing the wrong thing, but it was even better 
when he did the right thing. And sometimes I know when we do wrong things, it's really hard. But you know, all we need to do is say sorry. We just come back to God or whoever it is that we've done the wrong thing to and we say sorry for the things that we've done. Should we just ask God to take away all the bad things we've done now? And if you want to, you can pray with me. And I'm just going to say, God, we're sorry for all the wrong things that we've said and thought and done. And we ask you to help us while we do the right thing. Help us to do the right thing. Amen. Why don't you have a go at making a big fish this week? Because it's something you could do and it will help you to remember this story, won't it? All you need is a paper plate, some coloured pens, some scissors and something to stick with. And it's very, very simple. You just cut into the middle like that and then you cut what would look like a piece of pizza out like that. I'm just going to go to there. Like that. Very simple. Keep going to the middle until it gets to the middle. And then you've got your fish's open mouth. And then guess what? This becomes the fish's tail. And you just get some cello tape and tape it on the back like that. And you've got your fish. You can give your fish a big eye mm. and then you can spend lots and lots of time decorating your fish. You could stick things on it, you can colour them in, you could get some tin foil and make little fish scales and stick them on. You could give him a rainbow tail, you could do any kind of fish you want. It'd be lovely to see some of your photos of your fish in the um, comments below. And I hope you have a good week because this week is World Book Week and we're thinking this week about some of the books that are our favourite books. So do come and join us for our Zooms this week. We're going to be talking about our favourite books and I think you can guess what one of my favourite books is, can't you? You're right, it's this one. I'll see you later in the week. Bye!